Today we're going to be talking about a portable PlayStation. Well, it's not really a portable PlayStation because, you know, PlayStation actually killed that a while ago with the Vita and, you know, the PSPs. Today's video is going to be about the Backbone One plus the iPhone um, 14 Pro Max. So I just got my iPhone 14 Pro Max and I know it's not, you know, the number one for gaming by any means, but I like to, you know, occasionally play games on my phone. Not really a lot of mobile games, but more, you know, cloud gaming as well as, um, you know, PS5 remote play. Like today's video is going to be, you know, focused on the PS5 remote play more than anything. And if you don't know what remote play is, it pretty much means you'll need to have a PS5 or an Xbox or, you know, a PC if you want to remote play these devices um, on your phone. So it pretty much just grants you access to your console, you know, remotely while you're away from it, but you still have to have that console um, to you know use this feature is the backbone one I'm gonna be talking about is uh, kind of a special edition one that was made you know in conjunction with PlayStation to make it official so it looks very much like the PS5 controller dual sense controller and you know uh, kind of has a feel that uh, resembles that so if you're already acclimated you know with using um, a dual sense controller and you want something that feels like that while you're playing you know your PS5 um, from your phone then you should definitely check out Backbone One. First off, it's a very portable device. You know, feels like, you know, just plastic. So nothing crazy, nothing, you know, heavy duty or anything like that. And I'm sure that's how, you know, it stays light. So when you combine the Backbone One and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you have um, a nice handheld with a 6.7 inch screen. So a lot of screen real estate. Backbone has also designed the controller to, you know, very closely resemble uh, the DualSense controller. So X, you know, triangle, square, and O. And then we have, you know, the analogs. They're not in the same position. There's one on the top left and there's one on the bottom right. There's also a Backbone button. So the Backbone button will take you directly to the Backbone app. So the app, you get it for free, but there's features on there that you um, might want uh, and you'll need a subscription to get that. So you need to pay a yearly fee to access, you know, things like 50% discounts on whatever Backbone releases, you know. So different things like that. So if you want that, you can check that out, but you don't need um, to have a Backbone Plus um, subscription in order for you to really use the Backbone app. So I found the Backbone app has a pretty similar, you know, uh, user interface to the PlayStation. So a vertical um, and, you know, horizontal scrolling menu. There's also another button right next to the Backbone button for pausing gameplay and pulling up um, the in-game menu. On the left side of the controller, we also have a D-pad. We have, you know, a button that's shaped like, you know, a square. That button will allow you to, you know, do things like take screenshots or even, you know, record your gameplay or broadcast it because, yeah, you can really use this thing with Twitch. I know it's crazy. There's also a final button with three dots on it. So I found that that, you know, uh, lets me take screenshots on uh, the PlayStation when I'm using that. And just like the DualSense controller or any controller for that matter, it's got L1, L2, R1, and R2. So on the bottom side of the right grip, there's um, a lightning port, like a, a port for, you know, charging your phone through the case. Like so It's called pass-through charging. So you connect it into that and you can play, you know, while having your phone charged at the same time. Super cool. I love that feature. Underneath the left grip, we've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for all you guys out there that prefer a wired, you know, headset as opposed to wireless. Like me personally, I prefer to just use like AirPods Pro, you know, with that setup. As for setup, it's super straightforward and easy. All you've got to do is uh, connect your um, iPhone to the lightning port that's, you know, on the device right there. So the device doesn't have any batteries inside it, so you don't have to charge it at all. It just draws um, a little amount of power from your phone, not enough, you know, to be a problem, so don't worry about that. It's also got super low latency, you know, between the phone and um, the controller, so things respond very quickly. I have had no issues with it. If you've got a large phone like the 14 Pro Max or even the 13 Pro Max, then um, you're gonna wanna use the provided additional adapter. So they've got that in there already. You don't have to worry about picking up something extra. It's already in the package. So when it comes to PS5 remote play, it will not work if your uh, PlayStation is not in rest mode. So if your uh, PlayStation is turned off, it's not gonna work. It can't find it. But if it's in rest mode, then you can connect to it. I know it's a little bit of a hassle, but you know, it's always got for right now. There's no handhelds that can allow you to play PS5 exclusive or even just your PlayStation in general. Remote play is not quick deployment. I'll let you guys know that right away. So it takes, you know, a little bit for it to uh, come on or turn on your PS5. Uh, and when it does, you know, sometimes it can be finicky, but that can be based on uh, different internet connections. But I've got, you know, a very fast internet connection. I use uh, Wi-Fi 6 routers all through my house. I'm honestly just glad that there's something that I can at least use, you know, to play uh, my PS5 backlog on the road. So that's dope right there. And, you know, like I said, it also allows you to connect to an Xbox if you've got an Xbox and you want to remote play your games. But for me, I don't have any games on my Xbox. I only use Xbox Game Pass on there. So uh, every game is pretty much just um, 
you know, play through the uh, cloud. I also went ahead to try out remote play um, from my PC, so I was, uh, you know, able to connect to it using Steam Link and just play all the games I have in my Steam library. So that's dope right there. But I have a Steam Deck, which I'll use for that. Honestly, just based on the design, if you have an iPhone and, you know, um, a PlayStation 5, this could be great because this is how you can, you know, finally complete your backlogs. Because me personally, I still haven't finished Horizon Forbidden West and um, now I'm able to play it on the road. Like I said, it's not the greatest, but it works. You know, PS5 remote play, but you need a good, you know, Wi-Fi or good internet connection to, you know, really capitalize and maximize that feature right there. You can also use the Backbone One controller as a controller for your PS5 or, you know, your PC. If you want to find out more about the controller, you should definitely check out the link I've added down in the description below. I honestly hope that PlayStation comes out with another handheld. I really loved um, the PSP, you know, um, times, like the era of that. That thing was amazing. I loved it. That's pretty much it right there. I hope you guys uh, found this video enjoyable to watch. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will catch you guys in my next video.